I wanted to get to Mr. Talib and then I'll come to you. Okay, Mr. Talib. I mean, they, they've been waiting here all day. Mr. Talib. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, all of you, for centering this committee on our sole purpose um, is exposing the truth. And some of my colleagues can't handle the truth, and this is unfortunate because it's the center of what is protecting our country right now. The people at home are frustrated, Mr. Cohen, and they want criminal schemes to stop, especially those from the Oval Office. Mr. Cohen, I am upset and know that my residents feel the same way, that a man you worked for for the past 10 years is using the most powerful position in the world to hurt our country solely for personal gain. We are upset that some of our colleagues here are so disconnected of what, me what it means to have this President of the United States sending checks to cover bribe payments, not hush payments, bribe payments you made on his behalf. One in 2017 of March and another August 2017 after he was sworn in as President. They are upset that while my colleagues are trying to discredit your testimony by some of your own unlawful acts and lies, that they are disconnected with the fact that you were the personal lawyer for this president of the United States, that this president chose you as his legal counsel. My stance has always been the same, Mr. Chairman, based on the facts, not on future reports that we're all waiting on. My residents back home don't need a collusion cause with a foreign government to know this president, individual one, has disregarded the law of the land, the United States Constitution and that he has misused his pardon powers. In the sentencing memo, Mr. Cohen, filed by the federal prosecutors in New York in December of last year, they stated, quote, in particular, and as Cohen himself has now admitted, with respect to both payments, he acted in coordination with and at the direction of individual one. Mr. Cohen, as you know, President Donald J. Trump brand comes first, not the American people. Based on what you know now, based on what we know now, is that individual one used his money, businesses, and platform to enrich, to enrich himself, his brand, and then the process directed you, Mr. Cohn, to commit multiple fel fel felonies, and you covered it up, correct? That's correct. You called it protecting his brand, correct? And him as well. Mr. Cohn, with this, do you think the President of the United States is making decisions in the best interests of the American people? No, I don't. Especially those you said that he used horrible words about, like African Americans, Muslim Americans, and immigrants? Yes. Just to make a note, Mr. Chairman, just because someone has a person of color, a black person working for them, does not mean they aren't racist. And it is insensitive that some would even say it's the fact that someone would actually use a prop, a black woman, in this chamber, in this committee, is alone racist in itself. Donald Trump is setting Mr. President, Chairman, I ask I, that her words Donald be Trump taken down. Donald Trump is setting down. a president. I reclaim my time. Mr. Donald Chairman, Trump is setting a president. Mr. Chairman, the highest office can be a Mr. Chairman, the rules are activity. clear. Cover up and hold on to business assets to break campaign finance laws and constitutional clauses. What we have here, Mr. Chairman, is criminal conduct and the pursuit of the highest public office by Mr. Cohen and individual one. I hope that the gravity of this situation hits everyone in this body the court report. and in Congress and across this country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield the rest of my time. Mr. Chairman, I ask that her words, when she's referring to an individual member of this body, be taken down and stricken from the record I'm sure she didn't intend to do this, but if anyone knows my record as it relates, it should be you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I, I, I would like to... Hold on. I want the words read no, no, back. No, 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 no. We want to know exactly no, what she said me. about a colleague. Excuse me. Would you like to rephrase that statement, Ms. Salib? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I can actually read it from here. Just to make a note, Mr. Chairman, that just because someone has a person of color, a black person working for them, does not mean they are racist. And it is insensitive that someone would even say racist, say, say it is racist in itself, and to use a black woman as a prop to, to prove it otherwise. And I can submit this for the record. 
if a colleague is thinking that that's what I'm saying, I'm just saying that's what I believe to have happened. And if, as a person of color in this committee, that's how I felt at that moment, and I wanted to express that. But I am not calling the gentleman, um, Mr. Meadows, a racist for doing so. I'm saying that in itself, it is a racist act. Well, I hope not, Mr. Chairman, because I need to be clear on this well, particular. Mr. Chairman. Mr. 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 Meadows, wait a minute. I, I've defended you no, at, at, no, about, no. Mr. Meadows, with false accusations. Mr. Meadows, I'm the chair. Yes, sir, you are. Thank you. Right. I will clear this up. Now, Ms. Salib, is it, I want to make sure I understand. You did not, you were not intending to call Mr. Meadows a racist, is that right? No, Mr. Chairman, I do not call Mr. Meadows a and, racist. No, I am trying, oh, minute, as a person of color, Mr. Chairman, just to express myself and how I felt at that moment. Mm -hmm. And so, just for the record, that's what was my intention. All right. All right. Mr. Meadows, Mr. Meadows. Mr. Chairman, there's nothing more personal to me than my relationship. My nieces and nephews are people of color. Not many people know that. You know that, Mr. Chairman. And to indicate that I asked someone who is a personal friend of the, the Trump family, who has worked for him, who knows this particular individual, that she's coming in to be a prop, it's racist to suggest that I ask her to come in here for that reason. Mm -hmm. Mr. Right. Mr. President, the president's own person, she's a family member. She, she loves these, this family. She came in because she felt like the president of the United States was getting falsely accused. And, and Mr. Chairman, you, are, you and I have a personal relationship that's not based on color. And, and to even go down this direction is, is wrong, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I want to thank the gentleman for what you have stated. Um, if there's anyone who is sensitive with regard to race, it's me. Son of former sharecroppers that were basically slaves. So I, I get it. Um, I listened very carefully to Ms. Talib. And I think, and I, I don't want to, I'm not going to put words in her mouth, but I think she said that she was not calling you a racist. And I thought that we could clarify that. Because, you, Ms., Mr. Meadows, you know, uh, and of all the people on this committee, uh, I've said it and got in trouble for it, that you're one of my best friends. I know that shocks a lot of people. And, and likewise, Mr. Yeah, Chairman. But you are. And I would do, and I could see and feel your pain. I feel it. And so, and I don't think Ms. Salib intended to cause you that, that, that kind of pain and that kind of frustration. Did you have a statement, Ms. Salib? I'm going to yield to you. We no, can just straighten you, this Mr. up. Mr. Chairman, and, and to my colleague, Mr. Meadows, that was not my intention, and I do apologize if that's what it sounded like, but I said someone in general. Um, and as everybody knows in this chamber, I'm pretty direct. So I, if I wanted to say that, I would have, but that's not what I said. And uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to clarify. But again, I said someone. And again, I, those not referring to you at all as a racist. Well, I, I thank the gentlewoman for her comments. I thank the chairman for uh, working to clarify this. And uh, and I, I appreciate the, the, the chairman's uh, intervening. Now, now to, to the gentleman, um, first of all, thank you uh, for allowing us to resolve that. Um, the gentleman had asked a little bit earlier. I will withdraw my request. Oh, you don't want to do the uh, unanimous consent? I, I need the unanimous consent. Now, but the, uh, my, I, need, I think I need to officially withdraw my uh, request okay. that it be stricken. Go and withdraw it. You, you I, did it? I, I, I did. All yeah. right, sounds good. Um, now, I will recognize you for your unanimous consent. I think you want to uh, put in the record some documents. Yeah, uh, th thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I ask unanimous consent that we uh, put forth in the record the Vanity, Vanity Fair article, which uh, indicates that Michael Cohen must be the most gifted consultant in, the, in America, uh, outlining uh, his insights into government, health care, and policy and real estate, suggesting that he's not, it's not a real company, but uh, and, 
just like he's not a lawyer. Without objection, so ordered. Thank you. I ask unanimous consent that the LA Times article of July 16, 2018 uh, actually be put in the record, which out outlines the $1.2 million payment and their misgivings thereafter. Without objection, so ordered. Any other uh, unanimous consent request? Size. 